What's up, nerdlings? Yo! Do you nerd for Neo Show Art Con? Because let me tell you, you can't lose. This is Corin Nemec, live from Neo Show, Missouri. And I happen to have a question for you. It's a very serious question. Take a moment here, gather yourself. Do you nerd? That's the question. Do you nerd? Do you nerd? Do you nerd? If we like it, we nerd it. Do you nerd? I'm sorry, that was probably a bad joke. Um, <laughs> so, How many people will get that joke? <laughs> Neo Show Art Con. Now, this is a very cool local convention, uh, about an hour and a half drive away mm -hmm. from us or so, and it is put on by the Neo Show Arts Council. Yeah. Art Con is actually one of their fundraisers to help promote and support the arts in Neo Show. Now, what this does is help set up some field trips, it uh, helps them organize, you know, the free community centers, but it also helps them to restore some of the historical murals around town. Yeah, they were talking about they've got at least three of them they're trying to restore. I'm not sure if all of them, but I know one of them is at least 100 years old. And they were talking that they're going to need like $47,000 just to repair these. It's a really cool piece of history that we definitely want to preserve. So we were very, very much into we want to help. As you guys know, we always love to check out conventions, local ones, especially the up and coming ones. This was actually the second year that Neo Show Art Con was taking place. Interestingly enough, their first year, they outgrew that location, so they <laughs> moved to this school. However, some of the people that we spoke to said it looked like they were outgrowing this location, and next year it may be in another place because it's so much fun. They have so many great vendors and mm -hmm. everything in there that they're going to need that extra. I'm actually sad we didn't hear about this last year. I think we would have had a, oh, so much fun. definitely. One of the big draws for us, besides the fact that it's just a convention, was their headliner, Coronemic. Aha. I personally know him from a little 90s show called Parker Lewis Can't Lose. Synchronized watches. However, you know him in a different light. I know him as Jonas Quinn from Stargate SG-1, and he also did a couple other things like Smallville and Supernatural and some other like sci-fi movies and um, Lifetime movies, but uh, he'll always be my Stargate boy. You and me will be the family that saves this town. Do you practice that speech? A little wide, it's not rehearsed. Not really. <laughs> when we first got there, the line was literally out the door. It uh, was. So we had to wait just a little bit to get in there, but it was totally worth it. Oh yeah. While waiting in line, they actually handed out a very nice flyer with what we always love, a map and a schedule yes. of the events for the day. And on the back, actually, they printed out some rules, uh, some guidelines to keep in mind for their headliner there. Because, you know, guys, it is important to remember that whenever you have a celebrity guest on hand, you know, try to be respectful. Things like, yeah, we know them from, like, TV and movies, but they don't know us, so, you know, don't be a creep. Also, another thing they're, they're trying to remind you in here too, remember that there are other people in line, so don't spend all day talking to them. Quickly get things out there and move on. Well, we're waiting. For the Neo Show Art Con, it was only a $5 entry fee. And you got a lovely little wristband that actually says Art Con 2020 on it, so that kind of a fun little keepsake. So keep that on too if you have to run something out to the car mm -hmm. real quick. And for a little bit extra, that's when you got to do some of the bonus stuff. So we sprung on one of the gold wristbands. And the gold wristband got you priority seating at the panels. It got you a autograph and photo op with Cornemic. Speaking of that photo op, oh my gosh, that is I so I love this awesome. picture. Although it does kind of crack me up because... He's all like at an angle because Tom's tall and I'm short. So it was a little woo, but he was super friendly. He he loved our DK barrel. He complimented my shirt. He was very friendly. 
she's too right though he was seriously one of the friendliest people we have ever met he spoke to you like you were friends mm -hmm. for ages and he was so nice to everyone he definitely took his time with people and that was really cool because you know even though like you said earlier you do kind of want to keep that line going so everyone gets their chance the fact that he was so friendly it really helps, you know, if you have someone that's maybe a little more shy to talk to someone that they have watched on one of their favorite shows. And, yeah, he, I cannot say enough nice things about him. He yeah. was so pleasant and so friendly with us. And, of course, I had to get my Stargate because he had options. He had, like, a normal, like, I guess, head shot. Then he had a supernatural shot and a Stargate shot. So, like I said, I had to get my Stargate shot. And he says, Tom and Lacey, all the best wishes for you in life. Cornemic, and then down at the bottom he signed it Jonas, which was his character's name, and the A in Jonas he made the home symbol for Stargate, so that was a pretty clever touch. I liked that. As well as speaking for the photo op and getting an awesome autograph and just talking to him, Lady Lacey checked out his panel, and we've got a separate video where you guys can watch that whole thing. We mentioned before that this was being held in a school and they put that space to excellent mm. use. The way the school set up, they had a cafeteria and a gymnasium right next to each other. Inside of the cafeteria is where all of the vendors were that were selling just, you know, like the collectible stuff and the crafts. Mm -hmm. And then in the gymnasium is where you had your creators. So your artists, your authors and the like. In the cafeteria with all of the vendors, there were some great toy booths there were set some up, toy booths. and I think that you actually found a toy? I did. I found me a Loki figure from Avengers Infinity War. <laughs> he isn't complete because he is missing his little tesseract, but uh, I don't care. It's, it's Tom Hiddleston. It's Loki. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> That's all she wanted. So yeah, he looks pretty good. I mean, I think he did a pretty good job with his face. They really did a good job with him. And of course, you know, he's that classic style of figure that has all the great articulation that you would mm -hmm. want. Another thing to note is if you're someone who just likes to have the figures, they had some great deals on loose figures yeah. like mm -hmm. this. But if you wanted figures on card, they had plenty of those around yeah, too. And even though we didn't pick anything up this time, they had so many Funko Pops all over the place. Yeah. If you are a Funko <laughs> collector, Conventions like this are a great place to look for that one that may have gotten away. <laughs> one of the booths that we've seen at a couple of conventions that we always like to look around in has lots of, uh, you know, like fun IDs, buttons, magnets. The decals. So many decals. Oh my gosh. Yes. If there's any kind of fandom that you need a decal for, I'm pretty sure they've got you covered. And they've also got you covered with the Lego minifigs. Yep. Someone found the Legos. It's kind of weird this time I only got one figure, but it is kind of one of those things. It's like I'm my collection is growing quite a bit at these conventions, so it's like there's has to be a good one because it's kind of like I've got all the ones I've wanted. This one was one I hadn't seen yet, and it is Emma Frost in her diamond form. And it is pretty great because she does have two faces. She's got her normal face and then the more, like, I don't know, power face where, you know... <laughs> I mean, would you call that, like, a power face? Because, you know, like, her eyes She's are like glossed over. Uh... Kind of like when Storm would do her power and her eyes would fog over. So, I call it a power face. <laughs> it's, it's a power time. It's supposed to make you feel... Now, there were also a lot of fun handmade crafts. Yes. One of the booths that does a lot of fun knittings. Yes, a lot uh, of fun crocheting stuff. What did you see? I'm surprised you didn't leave with I this. know. It was really hard, but I was I was trying to, you know, gauge things. But they had an adorable little baby Yoda. And it was so super cute. It's so cute. They 
had a baby Yoda, and then they had like a little finger puppet baby Yoda. <laughs> and you know, it was kind of one of those things I was just trying to decide, but I kind of I did move on. I'll probably regret it later. <laughs> And hanging out at the booth, one of the people that was helping to create all of the cool stuff you saw was also a cosplayer that we've met mm -hmm. at a few events. Yeah. Now, she is a young up-and-comer, and she is very talented with the costumes oh, that yeah. she puts together. Mm -hmm. uh, she was rocking a little Joker love this time. She was, yes. And she was nice enough to give us some of her uh, spare cards that she had some joker cards that I know, she that made herself pretty clever if you ask me it's really cool because she basically i mean she drew herself so it was awesome and these are great we are going to be hanging on to these because when she is taking the world by cosplay storm we're going to be able to show people and be like oh hey yeah see see these yeah we got some uh, original cosplay we knew props. her win Okay, there's a pretty fun booth. I kept warning the guy to watch out for her <laughs> in case she tried to come over and buy a bunch of toys. Among some of the things that he had were comics. And actually, even though I was warning him about Lady Lacey, I was the one <laughs> to make the purchase and he <laughs> laughed at that. <laughs> I picked up this Marvel magazine. I love it. It's great because it's set up as if it's a uh, like a like a Time, time magazine, magazine yeah. or People magazine with yeah, it's Xavier great. Professor X, Man of the Year. My costume makes me feel like a heroine, but Van Dyne dresses make me feel like a woman. The Van Dyne Collection, designed by a superwoman for superwomen. And I just thought it'd be fun. It's one of those uh, nice larger size comics. Plus, it's got that nice 90s X-Men design, which I happen to be a little bit partial oh, to. Oh, you mean like this? Exactly <laughs> like that. This is Tom and Lacey, collecting all the things, searching from here to there, finding. <laughs> the other comic I picked up was Army of Darkness. And when I saw this cover, I didn't care if I already had this issue and this was just a variant cover, the fact that it's set up like a Tales from the Crypt cover. And that's what's so fun about comics, you know? Oh, yeah. Because I have that a couple of times. I have quite a few different comics that are the same comic, but they have a variant cover, and I like this cover or that cover. Yeah, and Army of Darkness as a Tales from the Crypt cover, it's perfect. Can you imagine if they did an Army of Darkness Tales from the Crypt? That would have been That would have been fun. <laughs> I don't know who would have had more puns, the Crypt Keeper or Ash. Oh. Honey. You got real ugly. <laughs> ooh, ooh, pun off. One of my favorite booths, well, new favorite booths from Vision Con last year was Dragonfly Studios. If you'll remember the little guy that lives on the DK barrel now, my Vizicon. Vizicon. Oh, yeah, and you have your eyes on it. The white one over there. Hey! Hello. Hello! I had to get Vizicon a sibling. That's the new one! So I adopted myself a new little dragon creature. Apparently I really like the white ones because I keep being drawn <laughs> to the white ones. But this one has a bit more pop of color than than the other one. And I just, I really liked his like big ears. He's just kind of, he, he looks sleepy. So I'm not sure where this one's going to live. Pretty sure his name is Artemis Khan. And as you see, he comes with his own little yes. adoption sheet with so many awesome vendors in here let me just say you never knew who you were going to run into i'm alexis macklin of chaotic neutral cosplay you should definitely come down to smaller cons that's where all the talent is here at kira springfield we are a group of cosplayers slash dancers who formed to kind of promote 
fun and smiles across the community. We dance to songs from Love Live, which is an anime series, but also they do live concerts. So we learn the dances off of the live concerts and we perform them at local area conventions and other charity events and things like that. Uh, do you need a lozenge? Uh, it's still a little tender, Vader. Uh, geez, man, come on. Now, we are in the gymnasium. We are checking out all of the artists. And holy cow. Let's start with Eldon Cowger. Hello, folks. My name is Eldon Cowger, otherwise known as Eldonius Rex. I create comics online at www.astray3.com. Please come and share. I need money. Thank you. This guy was amazing. He had a couple of his comics for sale there, and he writes the comics, he draws them, and he does all of the coloring on them too. And when you look at the comics, they're small frames. So it's like, dude, you're like constantly working. And when I asked him that, he said, yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> One of the things that I had to start off with, however, was the collection of miscellaneous art because i was loving how his art looked first of all i think that you like how this book is wrapped i do there's something about the the cover and the back it's almost like a like a satin -y, like i don't know it's a texture it's weird it doesn't slide across the table i'll no, tell you that it's, much it's not it's not glossy it's i don't know i can't tell what it like a like suede or something? I don't know, it's weird. It is kind of like a printed suede, and I will say, he spoke up and said that's one of his secrets, because once you pick up his book, you remember it, yeah. and that's too true. This time we went with his art book, but I think the next time we see him, we're probably going to pick up the first comic. Inside on the flap, I of course got him to sign it, because I told him, once you're freaking huge, I want to be able to open this up and show people, oh yeah, we were there from the start. <laughs> I uh, rather enjoy the king and queen puppy dogs, or, <laughs> or lions, or I'm not sure, they're just really neat looking animals. I think this is like going out like as a cuttlefish kind of look to it, I yeah. think. Yeah. It's really cool looking. This one right here is probably one of my favorites. It's this cute, again, uh, going along the sea creature route, it's like this person, sea creature, crab thing, but just like the way she's sitting. And the look on her face, it really reminds me of like a cosplayer at a convention that has just been walking around all day and they're so tired they just kind of plop on the ground. It's just adorable. This uh, demon devil girl was one of the ones that really caught me because just the color of her skin contrasted to her light colored armor. I mean, she just really pops off of the page. Every bit of her is so eye-catching. And the detail and things like her boots. Oh yeah, I mean, you've got like these skulls on the front of them. It's really cool. Oh, that's a beautiful one. And here we go. This is the one that sold me. I love the look of this little witch girl with her teeny tiny fairy familiar, maybe? Yeah, and look at the little freckles on her face. And of course, she's got that red hair, so that's why you like her. Eldon, we hope to see you again soon because we will be picking up some of your comics. Oh, yeah. And we are going to be following your career. With great interest. The next artist that we hit up was one that we had seen at the Joplin Collectors did, Expo. Yes. Uh, I think that we had like a little tinge of regret of not picking up something of his. Mm -hmm. So this time when I saw that he was set up here, I was like, you know what? We've got to go home with something. And I just want to share a fun little story. So this is a little bit of a uh, PSA, you know, <laughs> keep your vendors and stuff in mind when you go to a convention. I'm looking through his pictures. I'm just browsing. He kind of leans in and he goes, hey man, I know you're browsing and everything but do you have any idea where the food is? I am starving. Honestly, at that point, I didn't, but I told him, I go, what are you looking for? I'll find you something. He's like, awesome, awesome. He wanted a chili dog, he wanted a Mountain Dew, so I found where the food was, I brought it back to him, <laughs> and he said, oh, 
thank you so much. He introduced himself, me to him, and he was like, Tom, really, I, I appreciate it. He goes, hey, I'll cut you a good deal on some prints if you want. And I was like, well, I could take you up on that. We picked out a couple of prints and some extras. We did. So ladies first. So mine is a rather larger one. So this one's not going to fit in our portfolio. I'm going to frame this one. The wonderful fun scene of the Into the Spider-Verse. And I have seen a few people doing one of these drawings. But for some reason, they usually do just the guys for some reason. I don't know why they don't add the girls in there. The other thing that I really liked about this one is I really hope this shows up on camera, but it's got like a metallic sheen to it. So it's really neat. It really makes all those colors pop and show up there. And I just, it's just going to be a lot of fun to hang this on the wall. And of course, he signed it. Pillow DS. The other print that we got I really liked how this one looked. I believe you mm -hmm. did as well. Yeah. And I think we've got some fans out there. Uh, maybe Robert got G. I think you're a little bit of a Borderlands fan. Perhaps you would like how this one turned out. The colors on this one is just gorgeous. I really like this one. And again, it's got that metallic sheen to it. It really pops all the colors and everything. So yeah, Borderlands fans, you're going to have to let us know how they do. And of course, you know I'm a sucker for that blue hair and blue lipstick, so... And he did sign this one as well, and he added the note, Thank you, Tom. <laughs> no problem, man. Keep your artists fed. Starving you, artists, though. Yeah. What happened to the whole starving artist? Literally. Artists? You gotta buy their stuff to support them <laughs> to keep them fed, and when you see them at a con, you gotta keep them fed. So we were a little torn. We couldn't decide on a third print, which was part of the deal. But he had some stickers. And what do we like to do with our stickers? We like to put them on magnets. We got one that you really liked, I uh -huh. believe. The Bouette. And I went with the Bowsette. The lovely Bowsette. Although I do have to say I am a little more partial to the Redhead Bowsette. Just saying. <laughs> and the ever cute Chompette. Yeah, now I have never, not actually really seen a whole lot of Chompette except for at his booth. So, I mean, I'm sure it was probably out there, but he was the one that I first noticed the Chompette at. Just for fun, we got a little bit of Digimon Digital, Digital Monster Monsters. fandom. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know nothing about Digimon, but I thought it was just a cool looking wolf with a, a little boy next to him. And I believe we got some League of Legends love right mm -hmm. here. The really cool archer looking thing there. Really neat looking. For the Street Fighter fans and pinup fans i mean because come on that's that's a great pose <laughs> honestly though there was almost too much art there because I, it, it was it was hard to narrow it down just to the booths that we actually picked something up from there were so many great pieces so many mm -hmm. great creators there but those are the moments where you start picking up some business cards and uh you know you make sure that you're coming back to them later <laughs> checking them out online now, aside from the vendors and aside from the artists and creators, there were areas for uh, some tabletop gaming. There were. Which was a nice mm -hmm. thing to see because, again, conventions, events like this are always the perfect place to meet up with some like-minded fans of tabletop gaming mm -hmm. and actually get to sit down, maybe uh, play one of your old favorites with some new friends or play a new favorite yeah, with some old friends. Where we discovered one of our new favorite games, Epic Monster Tea Party. So if we hadn't tried out a game at a convention, we wouldn't have known how much fun that game was. And of course, everywhere you looked, there was such amazing cosplay. Oh yeah. And first of all, I always have to give a shout out and give props to all of the cosplayers that dress up for these conventions. You guys always look so incredible. I love how you really get into character and you're always so, so friendly and well to take pictures with and for people it's so awesome it is genuinely what make these conventions so much fun to go to they did have a cosplay contest i think that we were elsewhere but that was going on mm -hmm. sometimes we uh we get a little tied up talking to people and everything but this was a great way to meet up with some people that were also into cosplay and uh, you know put your skills to the test with them one nice thing about the setting of this convention was it was real easy to follow a path around and bring it back to where you started. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, you got a swag bag I at the did. start of the event. You got a swag bag for getting the gold pass, which is the one I got for the Coronemic stuff. It has a nice neat drawing on the front of it. It says, Art Con, Neo Show. 
with all the sponsors, and I have not peeked in here, so this is going to be all new to me. We've got... You can't pull, pull two things Sorry, out Sorry, it has a magnet. It's stuck to it. So we got a pin from Freeman Healthcare. Well, hey, you can never have too many pins. Mm -hmm. We got a nice chip clip with a magnet. I love these. We got a brochure about George Washington Carver because his... Uh, uh, his monument. Or his yes. monument, yeah. And uh, we love the man for peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did the peanut butter thing. He did not carve up George Washington. Don't make that mistake. <laughs> nice. It's a coloring yeah, page. Yeah, we got a coloring page from Earth's Mightiest Defender. Oh, we got a Show Me Ozarks magazine. It's got like fun stuff from all around town and articles and some stuff it seems silly but seriously guys stuff like this yeah. is what can kind of help you realize that events such as this are going on mm -hmm. or coming up i got a comic oh oh gosh that's gruesome that is looking. a very gruesome looking comic you see that looks like the kind of thing that freddy krueger has nightmares this about. is his, this is freddy krueger's dad i guess so that says angel number one that'll be cool to check out mm -hmm. Got a gallery mini from Ashcan Comics Pub. Publications, I guess it's not a pub, like a drinking pub. Yeah. So we got um, a calendar of activities for things that are going on in Neosho from January to March, which is kind of neat. Let you know what things are going on. Pamphlet for the Crowder College. Yes. We got a photography pamphlet. <gasps> Woo! Squishies! Love these! Oh my gosh. Love my squishies! He's got fuzzy head! Oh, from Downstream Casino. So when you're losing all your money, you have a stress thing to, <laughs> to squeeze. <laughs> we got another pin. Oh, we got another squishy. Oh, this is a sad squishy. That's for after you That's lost after all your you money. That's after you lost all your money. First Community Bank lanyard. Some mints. Uh, from State Farm. Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis. You got a cool art con button. That's some fun swaggy stuff. Oh, and some business cards. Neat. So there you go. Nice little swag bag showing some community support. Giving you a couple of fun little things, especially the, the squeezies for the casino. So before you lose your money and after you lost your money. Okay. I think. All right, so. Let's talk final. What did you think of our first trip to ArtCon? I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. I definitely look forward to next year. Yeah, me too. And there were so many people there. But, uh, you know, for the most part, everyone was really kind, really mm -hmm. respectable. Um, you know, it would get a little tight in some of the vendor booths. But, you know, when you're there and you're excited to kind of look through stuff, it's going to happen. So just kind of remember, you know, you yourself, try yeah. to be polite and everything while you're trying to squeeze in there and look at something that you want to see. But I'm very thrilled to hear that they're looking at a larger location to maybe help them get, get a little more room in there. And I think that's just going to be great for them mm -hmm. because this show is growing just drastically. Yes. They have great creators there, great talent. You know, they were able to get an awesome celebrity there and... It was just so much fun. This is the kind of startup convention that you want to see grow and really be able to say that you were there from the ground floor up, even if it was a year late in our case. <laughs> At this point in the video, we would like to say thank you to the Neo Show Arts Council for putting on such an awesome convention and to all of the vendors, creators, cosplayers, everybody who was there in any capacity. Thank you for making our first ArtCon an awesome one. And I would like to ask, first of all, nerdlings, anything that you saw in this video, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Drop a like if you happen to like the video. And anybody that was at ArtCon, please feel free to drop a comment down below. If you were one of the cosplayers, mm -hmm. hit a timestamp. Let yeah. us know where you're at because we want to see your awesome costume again. And, of course... Make sure that you subscribe, hit that notification bell. We love checking out new events to us, so be sure that you're on board to make sure you're not missing out what we're checking out. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it, we squeeze it.
Yeah, nerd it. We nerd it. I lost the car! That's okay. I lost my money. <laughs> wow. When we first got it, <clears throat> get it, get it, get it, get it, that, that. <laughs> Pull out of me. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's right. That's that's where I'm going with it. Oi, it's right in front of your face. Is that good enough? 